Hey guys, it's Uri from Babagol and we are here uh, to make a quick qu clarification on one of the hottest topic in world football in the past 24 hours. The Liverpool star Mohamed Salah has set an ultimatum for the club that he will leave if the Reds will sign Israeli striker Munas Dabur. Wait, what? Yes, this headline has caught the eyes of many of football fans and football media outlets around the world in the past day and I have two words to say about this fake news and for multiplayer reasons okay this story started escalating in a very sketchy fake newsy website in Egypt yesterday media outlets in Israel saw it got the vibe from it copied the text translated it and published it then European outlets saw it in Israeli outlets quoted the Israeli report that uh, in Egyptian media have reported that Muhammad Salah had set an ultimatum to Liverpool and basically created a bubble around this story which is not existed. Now, if you are making fake news and someone is quoting you, acquiring your fake news and someone else is quoting them, acquiring them, faking news, their faking news that you created from the first place, what are we getting? Fake news. What I, I want you to keep in mind this. There is no chance, and we know it from close sources to Muhammad Salah, no chance in the world that one of the world's best five players has done such thing as setting an ultimatum to his club because of someone's origin. All right? Second of all, Munas Dabur, he's an Arab, an Israeli from Palestinian descent. He has an Israeli citizenship, but yeah, he might feel Palestinian, doesn't matter, okay? They just taking these terms, Israel, Egypt, Muhammad Salah, Israeli, banning, living, politics, football, all these kind of things are viral nowadays. Work out your brain, think about, analyze stuff, don't eat everything they offer you. Look at it and think if it's right or wrong, make your research. Ask people. I can guarantee you that journalists across in Egypt and the Arab world are saying this is absolutely the most ridiculous story they ever heard. Well, this story is laying on Salah's past as a Basel player when again fake news report claimed that Salah doesn't want to come to play in Israel against Maccabi Tel Aviv because he does not uh, recognize Israel. This is one thing. Drop the fact that Salah did came. He didn't shook hands to the players of Maccabi Tel Aviv, but he did came to Israel to play, all right? He didn't ban any game. So creating this fake news story about a transfer that hasn't even been yet a reality is the complete definition of fake news in football media. And we are very close to January where the rumors are going to pop up the window like hot buns. Okay, so let's put things straight. We spoke to Dabur, he denied it, he said things that never happened. We spoke to people who, who are close to Salah, they said he never said such thing, he never said an ultimatum to Liverpool. So who can we blame for? The Egyptian uh, media for uh, claiming uh, Salah uh, said the ultimatum? The Israeli media to take in the story and publish it as a fact? Or the European media outlets who, talk, who took both stories and just report that there are reports who are saying this as facts. Be careful guys, keep your head in mind, and you know this is another sign for you. Read your news in Babagol, where something big as an Israeli striker playing with Egyptian striker, and I believe Dabur and Salah will have a great combination on attack. Be sure it will get a stage in our website, not in the mirror, not in us, not in these places, okay? Think about it, next time you read a funky story as Salah set an ultimatum by the origin of some player who is not surely a candidate to join his team, alright? Keep it real.